Hey beauties. Uh, so I am doing, and this is the first for me in multiple ways, uh, a first impressions video. So that's the first. And it's on a hair product, like a hair device. So bear with me. Hopefully I don't suck. So, okay. So I, so you know how on Facebook on the side, it like advertises for stuff. Um, or it'll just like pop up in your feed like something you might be interested in. So this is the Time. Uh, it is a flat iron, but it is like crooked, you know? And it's designed to give you kind of like a ringlet wave type look to your hair. Um, so this is not cheap at all. Um, so this was $190. Um, it can be used, and I'll put the link below in the description box. Um, it can be used as a straightener, and it can be used as this like curly cue thing. So we're gonna try this together and see if this works. Now, I did play with this the other day with my brother's girlfriend, Rachel. I love you, Rachel. And she is good at doing hair. And so she did like my hair, she did my aunt's hair, and it really turned out pretty well. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to replicate how good she was, because hair is not my specialty. So I have really fine hair. Um, it, it's just, it's fine, it's thin, and I don't have a lot of it either. Um, so I feel like it's hard to find things that work on it and that make it look nice, especially if I go below my bob. Like when I go, when my hair is below my chin, I'm out of my comfort zone because it just, I don't know what to do with it. It's ridiculous. And I still have like, I can't put it in a ponytail entirely because like a whole bunch, like half of it falls out. So anyways, we're going to play with this today and see how this works. Now, two products that I do like that I think are going to be helpful today as well. Oh, this is fun. Uh, I love the Batiste dry shampoo. This is like one of my staples. This helps to give me some texture in my hair and I try to only wash my hair every other day. Um, and in order to do that and to kind of give it like some zhuzh, some body, is to use this. So I will shake and then I will spray this at the roots and sometimes just in the body of my hair. Um, they do have one that comes in brown or in red so you can get like your hair color um, because this comes out white. Uh, but don't be alarmed if you use the colored one and then you wash your hair, it will come out that color. So I thought like my hair dye was like leaking when I washed my hair, but it's not that. It's if you use the one of these that's colored for darker hair, it's going to wash out, you know, when you shower. So anywho, so I like this. It gives texture. It'll help the style stay a little bit more and it will get rid of any excess oil if you're trying to make it an extra day uh, without shampooing. And the next one is the, and this is not a cheap one. Um, but this is Paul Mitchell hot off the press. So this is something that you spray. It's like a heat protectant spray So it's like a combo between a heat protectant spray and a hairspray So you put it on you spray it on the strand before you straighten or you know heat style it And it helps it to stay and it helps it to not damage your hair So that is what I'm gonna be those are what I'm gonna be using today um, So let me just kind of set myself up so that we can get started Okay, so I let my hair naturally dry which in my case is not ideal because it just does this, whatever this is. Uh, but anyways, so I have plugged our device in and it just has, uh, it doesn't have like a temperature gauge or anything um, in case that's something you look for <laughs> in a really expensive hair product. Um, it has a button that you touch that turns it on. Um, so we're gonna do that. Um, and I don't think I'm gonna get to do my whole head with this because um, you have to, because of the way that it's shaped, um, you have to do it like you, when you do something like this and when you use any type of curling iron, curling wand, whatever, uh, they recommend for a, if you're going for like a wavy, like haphazard, natural type of look, you can alternate uh, curling it out or curling it in. Uh, they usually recommend out by your face and then you know in and then out if you're going back and forth um now for this in all of the other uh like tutorials and videos and like their advertisements they go they like split you know in half and you just go out this way and then you go out this way so you know so you have to okay so now that the light is no longer blinking it has reached you know what it's supposed to be. Okay, so I've already used the dry shampoo and kind of mussed it through. So now I'm going to start off with 
a decent sized piece like my bang area. There's Scotty again. He's so handsome. Um, okay, sorry. Um, so I'm going to spray this with this spray. Seriously, Scotty? Like, this is the time you decide to come up? This is, like, seriously? Your timing is not ideal, man. It's just not. Okay. Um, okay, so I am going to just sort of give this a moment to dry. And then I'm going to begin using this very interesting device. Um, so I will link their website and everything below uh, in the description box as well. Okay, Scotty's just, he wants to hang for this. Okay, so what you do is you put your hair in and then you, oh, look at that burning, that's awesome. And then you just slowly kind of pull it through and out. Oh, look at it, it's a beautiful thing. Okay, so there is that strand. Pretty, pretty cool. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it, um, cause I, you know, might wanna like mess it up a little bit to make it a little less Shirley Temple-ish later, but I'm not gonna do that right now because you should always wait till it cools if you're gonna try to hold the curl very well. My cat's like, who are you talking to? You're so weird. Because talking to cats is totally normal. Now that I'm talking to a phone, you're concerned? My animals are gonna have like an intervention for me? Okay, so letting this go through and dry. All right, and then same thing. And I'm taking like, cause my hair is thin and it does take well to a curl. I'm taking like, <laughs> sorry, he's just hanging out. I'm taking like a one to two inch piece of hair. So if your hair doesn't take curls as well. Okay, this is. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Um, by the way, when I did that, I set this on my lap. Bad idea, it's burning, okay. So let's start again at the root and then just sort of curl it out and keep turning. Ah, and there's another one. Wow. Okay. So that's pretty cool. So I have two decent curls. Okay. So I am going to pause this so it's not another 20 minute video and I will do the rest the same way that I've done this and then I will come back in a moment. Okay, couple things. Uh, you should let this dry before you put the device on your hair because it will make a very unsavory sizzling sound, which makes you unsure if it's the product or your hair that is being, you know, fried. Um, secondly, it is super tricky to switch to the other side of your head because the way that I'm holding it here, I have to switch to do on this side. So it's way harder on this side of my head. And again, some people are good with this and they just like figure it out and whatever. I'm clearly not. So anyways, I'm much happier with this than I am with whatever I attempted to do here. So this isn't one of those things that I would do like last minute before you go to work or, you know, I would practice before you do this, before like going out or something. But anyways, okay, so I do, I do like it um, because it can be a straightener or this if you turn it the other way. And if I comb it out, it will be, you know, it will be looser and it will be more wavy. Um, now this would not work on, like I would say that you want to have you know, chin slash like mid neck length hair um, because the time, like if you'll notice, it doesn't start curling very early because you're straightening and moving it really quickly. So um, I don't think it would work on, on like very short hair. I do like this. I don't think it's worth the price, but I will post a video after I have played with this for longer so that I can give you like a better review. Like this is a first impression, like, me playing with it and seeing how it works. Um, if I, uh, I'll start to use this more frequently and then I'll be able to give like a better review on the product as a whole and say like how I learned to use it and if it's much better, but this is definitely a challenge. It does have really great results, but it's not, it's not really easy to do. 
and it doesn't have any heat settings. So I know everyone has different hair and I know some people, if your hair is, you know, like mine is fine and I color it, I might have wanted to try it on a lower heat setting to see if that would, you know, cause I try to do the lowest, like the least amount of damage to get it done, you know? So I would have tried to go, um, or some people, if you've really coarse hair that, you know, really needs to be, you know, hotter, but this doesn't, it doesn't have any adjustment. Um, so I will link their website below um, if you wanna purchase this thing, cause you just have extra money and you love to play with your hair. I feel you. Um, and I will post like their official like tutorial or one of their advertisements with the chick doing it who clearly knows what she's doing as opposed to me who's like experimenting and like getting tied up in the, you know, cord. So anyways, uh, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. I may not do many of, it, of these videos because, um, yeah, because I'm not really good with hair stuff to be honest. I kind of have my routine and that's what I do. And this was really going out of my comfort zone with this like crazy looking, but very pretty device that comes in its own case. Um, anyways, so I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, I hope if you're in Snowmageddon right now, like we are here in like the Philly area, I hope that you are being safe and staying indoors. Bye.